Don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Trailer the Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, there's only a few more days until Trailer Park Christmas, and you know, sometimes you have people that spend the night and they wake up and they want brunch. Well, I eat cake for brunch, and this is a recipe that was my grandmother's, and it actually uses bananas, and you know, sometimes I don't get to use the bananas, I don't get to eat them, and they turn brown, and sometimes you can freeze them in cup size little baggies in the freezer and use them too to make this great banana cake, and I think it's the best ever, because it's my grandmother's banana cake. I'm going to show you how to make my grandma's banana cake up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my grandma's banana cake is really simple. And you'll need a mixer, and I've got one and a half cups of regular sugar. That goes right on in the bowl, just like that. We're going to use some vegetable shortening today, and I've got that measured out. And I've got one of those fancy things that just pushes it right on out into the bowl. Just like that. And we're going to cream it together and make that nice and creamy. Now we're going to add one egg and one egg yolk right on into the bowl, just like that. Now add one cup of the mashed bananas. And you can measure this out in cupfuls in little baggies and place it in the freezer. And that way you can get rid of the bananas that you didn't get to and use them in a cake later on. So go ahead and put a cup of the mashed bananas right on into the bowl, just like that, and give that a stir around. Now you're going to add in two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon baking soda. and a half teaspoon of salt. Now this cake does an old-fashioned thing and it's called sour milk. And I've got three-fourths cup of milk here and I've got white vinegar and I'm just going to dash a little bit of white vinegar in there and I'm going to let that sit aside for just a few minutes. And that makes the mixture that needs to go into the cake. You'll need a 9 by 13 cake pan that you spray down to. So now I have our 3 fourth cup of prepared sour milk, and that goes into our mixture just like that, right on into the bowl, and about a teaspoon of vanilla, and you know I don't measure, so we're just going to put some in there just like that, and we're going to give that a stir around until it's well blended. There we go. Now we have our mixture, and we have our spray down 9 by 13 cake pan. We're going to spread this out into the cake pan. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and it's going to bake about 40 or so minutes. You can use a toothpick test to test it out to make sure that it's okay. But let's just go ahead and put this into the pan and get it into the oven. You can make an icing for it, like a cream cheese icing, but it really is good on its own. You'll just be grabbing bleak, big old blocks of it because it's just the best cake ever. So let's pop it in the oven now. So set your timer. And there you have it, my grandmother's banana cake recipe. And it sure is a simple recipe to get rid of all those brown bananas up on your countertop, or you could have froze them and used them in the batter anytime that you wanted to. It's great without a frosting or glaze. Um, it just really is a good cake that you could wrap up and put in somebody's lunchbox. I see the speckles of the banana. You could put nuts in it too. 
but I just can't wait to try. Well, I don't even use a fork. I'm sorry. I just pick it up and eat it because it's that good. Mmm. Taste that banana flavor, and it's so moist, and I taste the vanilla, and I like the crust, too, around it, too. It's kind of chewy on the outside, and it's just a great home-style cake that will really be great at brunch or pretty much any time. I hope you get a chance to make my grandmother's banana cake, and if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there, too. On my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, has a calendar and all the recipes, too, that you can keep track of all the 25 days of Trailer Park Christmas. I hope you all have a great Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be back soon. I love you. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the double wide. Trailer Park Queen. Visit my store at JoeLaneSugarBaker.com.